Welcome to Dino Overall X. This is the second installment of three total installments. We will cover battling techniques in this particular video, but if you haven't seen the first installment, we discussed gear combinations. Go ahead and take a look at that one first because we're not gonna touch on any of that stuff here other than briefly taking a look at some of the items and then getting immediately into battle so we can show off a few of the techniques and weapon combinations that you might wanna use. So as you can see, I'm on my Ancient Prime Mana Core here. This is a Fire Mana Core, a complete in-game dino. I have the Enhanced part on him. The Enhanced part gives an additional 300 plus armor. As I mentioned before, you want an armor above 250 when you're fighting in-game uh, dinos. Primes, not necessarily. We're going to fight a Prime, and we'll go ahead and fight a Mega Pithecus. Mega Pithecus can be quite tricky because of the array of attacks that it has. You can also see here that I have the Fat Man Nuke Launcher, and I have 11 nukes. These are must-haves when you're fighting any kind of dino that's a ground-based dino. Mega, Titan, you name it. Air is a little trickier. You have to get a little more range on it. So you, you might have a lot more of a struggle hitting one of those dino types with it. So you got to get a little more creative. But ultimately, when you're fighting Titans, you really want to do that more in a group setting so you can trade off. Now, as you see here, I have the Health Regen Potions. These are really going to help keep my health up. They recover health about 5K per second for 25 seconds for this particular type. There's a class below it, and then there's one type item below that one as well. But for this particular battle, we will probably won't need any of these. I usually use this one when I'm looking to heal for the next battle because it only gives me about 37K back, which is just around a quarter of my overall health. And generally, I usually only lose about that amount when I'm fighting any kind of prime. Mega, different story. Titan, I'll for sure need a lot more of these. And as you can see, I'm wearing the Mana Core Complete Set here, which I'm taking to take 25% reduced damage. My Dyna will take reduced damage. And the Pygmy that I have on my shoulder gives an additional 15% reduced damage taken for the Dino to include Stamina Regen. So I'm using this particular Pygmy because of the ability to regen Stamina on any team that you're on, and you'll never have to worry about landing and reju rejuvenating stamina in the middle of a battle. That's the last thing you want. But there are other pygmies you can use, such as the Doed Pygmy, which gives an additional 30% damage reduction. So that could be great in other settings as well, if you really aren't too worried about stamina. I'm not, but again, the, the Argent, it's just nice to not have to ever think about it. So as you can see here, we have a Prime. Wyvern, let's see if we can get a read on this one real quick. 121,000 health. Its actual melee is really low. So that's good. We don't have to really worry about that too much. But it does have more health than, than most. 254 points in the health. So this is one of the higher, higher health ones, but it's a lot lower when it comes to its overall damage. So its damage directly relates to all of its abilities that it does. Fire, melee, you name it. So let's go ahead and get this battle over really quick. The technique I'll be using is I'm going to be backing up in battle and pivoting around it. I'll never be chasing it because it's, it's going to be quicker than me. It's going to spin around me, and we'll just go in circles. The idea is to kill it as quickly as possible to lose less health. Now, this dino right here has a very strong fire attack that it can take for every now and then. It's not always going to hit that, but when it does, you'll definitely notice it. And of course, with the gear I got on, I'm going to take a heavy amount of reduced damage. Let's go ahead and finish this one off. He is quite fast. Sometimes we just have to shoot the rifle. All right. And again, I'm going to do my best to make it so he doesn't spin around me. So I'm always getting a good shot up. Focus on backing up. I'm barely taking any damage. The big hits which doesn't look like he hit me with it yet. I mean, the damage on this one's super low anyhow. As you saw the melee, on average, you'll see them closer to 500%. So that wasn't too bad. 
that one really just had most of its points in, in health. So, like I said, when it comes to the ground megas, which is what we're going to go ahead and fight right now, the fat man is, is heavily required for this. I mean, not, I don't want to say required, but highly recommended. If you don't have a fat man nuke launcher, the battle is definitely possible, but it'll just take quite a bit longer, putting you at risk or exposure much longer than you, you probably want to be. So to get here, we need to fly to the other side of the map. Generally speaking, the Megas, if they spawn up here in the top of the snow biome, they will generally stay up there unless otherwise aggroed to come after something else. But often, more times than not, you will find it directly over here. So again, I'm going to go ahead and start this battle off with nuking it once I find it. And then I'm going to bob and weave to make sure that I don't get hit by any of its ranged abilities, particularly the rock that it throws. Not necessarily worried about the snowball attack. It doesn't really hit for too much when you're in a dino of this caliber, especially how geared out I am. So you can see he's right there. 270,000 health, really low on the health side. Most of the points are probably going to be in... Actually, this one just wasn't a very high roll. So this is kind of what, you, what you're looking for. You want to see something that has fairly low health, not a whole lot in melee. Uh, just you get lucky. Some RNG on that one. So we're going to go ahead and finish this guy off pretty quickly. I'm not going to waste my time actually going down there and fighting him. Again, I'm taking a risk if I do that. And the nuke is very slow, so there's a chance that I'm probably going to miss him. So let's get a little closer here. That should man. If you get a direct hit, you'll do quite a bit more damage. And again, you want to bob and weave just to be safe. You want to shoot a little bit in front of them. I hit myself on that one. Actually, my weapon broke there, so I'm going to have to go ahead and finish him off. The nuke launcher can only fire, depending on the durability that it rolls, anywhere between 10 to 20 shots before you have to go ahead. And, and this guy's practically dead anyhow. So we're just going to finish him off. That's the last thing you want to get hit with is that rock. And this will be a quick battle here. And that's really it. There ain't a whole lot to it. This guy was fairly weak. You kind of want to look for that when you're going to battle. If you see one with 1 million health and it has 700% extra into melee, things like that, you might want to reconsider. But as you can see, the nuke hit for about 100 and anywhere between 100 to 150,000 per shot. Now, it's fairly slow, so you have to really kind of lead your target into it. But other than that, if you're geared right with your tame, you have the right weapons on you, you can take a mega out fairly easily. So that's it on this current installment. On the final installment, we'll go ahead and discuss dinos more in detail to include megas, titans, pygmies, apexes, primes, ancient primes, and anything in between. Thanks for watching.